Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about iOS 8.4.1 Beta 1. Apple continues to amaze me every single release that they're doing now because it's just two weeks after the public launch of iOS 8.4 in Apple Music, and we're already talking about another beta version of iOS. Not a beta version of iOS 9, but another beta version of iOS 8.4, bringing it up to iOS 8.4.1 Beta 1, which is quite a mouthful to say the least. I have been looking through iOS 8.4.1 here on my iPhone 5 for the past 20, 30, 40 minutes now, and I've got some bad news for you guys because I can't actually find anything that's changed. I haven't seen any new UI, all the apps that were there with iOS 8.4 are still present in iOS 8.4.1 Beta 1. I've looked through settings and haven't really noticed anything new there. Of course, if something is discovered that's new that I just didn't see in this first hour or so, make sure you check out the link in the top right hand corner of the screen by clicking on that I and I'll update that article with new features or new changes if they are discovered, but I'm kind of sad because it's always fun to see new changes in these betas, and that's just not the story with iOS 8.4.1, at least in this very first beta. My initial impressions with iOS 8.4.1 Beta 1 make me want to say that it does feel faster and snappier than before, but I'm only going to accredit that to the fact that I did a complete clean restore to this firmware. No, no third-party apps have been installed on my device yet. No backup was restored to. This is literally just stock iOS at its finest. So you can see scrolling through these two pages is fast. I can launch settings, app store, iTunes, and it's incredibly quick. I just feel like it's going to be the exact same as iOS 8.4 if I start installing apps or if I would restore a backup with iOS 8.4.1 beta 1 installed. This is all the info that I've got for you guys on iOS 8.4.1 beta 1. Of course, if you enjoyed watching this video, smash that like button down below, and for more content on future betas, including more for iOS 9 and of course iOS 8.4.1, make sure you also subscribe while you hit that like button so you don't miss out on any of my future content. This has been Sam with iAppdateOS. Hope you guys had a great day, and I will talk to you in the next one.